do you immediately walk on stage feeling comfortable and one of the crowd? I don't really think about it. The main thing I think about is, will my equipment work? Um, and it's nice playing with people. Like, I was solo for like six years. So that's when I would really think about the audience, because the audience in this song is awesome. Let's look around and watch everybody else do this. Let's really get some good movement with our knees. We're gonna be bending these knees a lot as we dance. Now let's slowly, ever so slowly, start bending down so we're just taking a knee and we're crouching on the floor real slow, real slow, all the way down on the ground. You can do it. Don't be a coward. This is not a continent of cowards. So many cowards in the audience tonight, I must say. Now if you're doing this, let's look around the room and find somebody who's not doing it and point directly at them. Let's point, that's all right, they made a choice, we made a different choice. The, uh, the audience was sort of like my band members in that sense, but now that I'm with a full band, I think about like, you know, can I hear everyone? Can they hear, do they get the cues? Is it solid? How's the mix? Is the audience reacting? How do I engage the audience? That's a lot to be thinking about at once, isn't it? Yeah, it's difficult. Sorry, we're checking out that girl. No, I was checking out Denny walk really funny behind her. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. But there is a girl. Awesome. Let it be known there is also a girl. Wow. God bless this place. It's just been some from the band as well, just uh, straight after the gig, like, you know, seven shows in America really seems to have, like, kind of helped. Give it a bit of a like kind seven of seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven, seven weeks in oh America. God, I misheard him there. Jesus. Seven weeks, four days off, non-stop shows, like 38 shows in a row or something like that. How are you feeling about that? That's no wonder tonight when it ruled. Fun. It was fun. Like it started off really hard to keep together, but then by the first week, it became like you know a unit and a beast, and it started getting tighter and tighter, and and then also loose at the same time, like loose in the right spots. Most of the people in the band, it was the biggest show they've ever played for, like hands down. Um, you know, it's a really good time slot, 1 a.m. on Saturday night. I don't know. It's been really, it's really humbling. It's really, you know, there's a lot of really beautiful bands on the festival, like Lightning Bolt and Sunno and Ponytail and you know, Apex Twin and Square Pusher and you know, Sonic Youth and you know, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It's really daunting to be playing amongst those amazing musicians and. It's just really nice. I don't know. It's, it's, it's cool. It's a cool feeling. Absolutely. Beer break. Thanks very much, Kev. Thanks, man. Bolt band <laughs> are the ones that like took a took like heavy music and and didn't focus on aggression, focused on a positive, uplifting spirit, which really like motivated me and really I think motivated a lot of fans. And just took music that could be like visceral and hard and noisy and, and raw. Make you, make you leave with a smile. Yeah, like exactly. Make you feel good.
me that I think so much. I'd rather get lost in the moment. It sort of takes me about halfway through the set to like get all those ideas out. Thank you very much. Can everyone hear this pitch here? Can we all sing that note? And when I was on the floor, <laughs> it used to be right away, but then it sort of, I never got in the moment. Like the, what, what, what those solo shows you mean when you're yeah, playing on the floor, it, yeah. Like it used to just be like as soon as I'd start, I'd be in another world, nothing could distract me. Perfect. Now can everyone see my hand like this? When my hand is like this, we will sing that note with our mouths closed. We'll just hum that pitch. Let's try that now. Now when my hand is open wide all the way, we're gonna scream that pitch. When I pull my hand back and shake it, we're gonna scream so loud it distorts the pitch. Cool, perfect. Now, depending on the shape of my hand will be the shape of our mouth and we'll get started from there. Lately, like when I play solo and I'm in the audience, the audience is so aggressive and all, all I can think about is like protect the gear, don't get hurt, make sure no one's getting hurt. So I, I really like playing on the stage and I like just a new dynamic. Am I yelling? No, I'm yelling, no, no, aren't no, it's I? It's fine, it's fine, let's go. This ensemble tour has really taught me a lot about music and showed me a lot about areas that I've been lacking in and where I excel and where I could have room for improvement. What do you consider areas you've been lacking in? Just in, in, in freedom. Basically the band was in an iPod. Because when I'm up there, I'm doing the lights. Yeah. And I'm mixing the synth, and I'm mixing myself. When it was just me and the iPod, it was just like, set the iPod as loud as it goes, put my vocals underneath, do the light, go nuts. But there was no freedom, there was no like, no, do it one more time, all right. Like being able to like extend it, like if the audience is going. I'm loosening it. Exactly, like, all right, now slow it down. Now just the drums. Now just the drums cut out, just the synths. Guitar, come in now, like that adds a great deal of room for freedom and musical expression that couldn't exist the other way. about electronic music and computer music is creating a physicality to sound. You know, when a drummer hits a drum, you see that physicality to sound. When a singer is singing, you see the sound source. When a guitar player is playing the guitar, you know where the sound is coming. You see the hand movements that relate from low pitch to high pitch, to strumming fast, to strumming slow. When someone's behind a laptop, there's none of that. I think as an audience, they, it, it's hard to be engaged. I think the initial reaction is, I do not know what is happening. Even for people who have no musical knowledge, you can see someone who's amazing at a laptop, and if they're just sitting there, it's hard to translate the music properly in the live setting.
and there'll never be another band like the Beatles or Nirvana because the way the industry is, there's no, it's impossible to siphon all the attention towards one band. Because as soon as one band gets big, within a matter of months, they're so copied that there's no focus on them anymore. In fact, when it was impossible to proliferate ideas at such a speed, it was easy for the industry to be like, Nirvana will be the sound. There might be a lot of bands that sound like Nirvana, and there's a lot of peers that influence them, but they will never be heard. We can siphon all the energy towards there and build it, and I, you know, Nirvana rules. I'm not downplaying Nirvana. It's about the way that the world works and the way that information travels. The music scene today is stronger than it's okay. ever been. It's more diverse. There's no focus. There's no hierarchy. It's no longer a pyramid. It's this weird pond of bacteria, and certain <laughs> bacteria grow stronger and others die. It's awesome.